Welcome in to another season of Leeward Islands Cricket. Uh, we've got our 20 over trophy campaign first. Uh, let's uh, really look forward to this. Uh, and yeah, going over the team uh, for today against Barbados. Uh, we're taking on um, an interesting approach here. We've got on Glenn Phillips and Kane Williamson to open up the batting. Brevis at three, Carty at four, Cooper at five uh, on debut. Sebastian Cooper really impressed for um, our domestic, local domestic. So he's going to go at franchise cricket day. Jay De Silva at six. Gittins, another one of our up and coming um, youngsters as well, will get his shot today as well. Got Bravo and Rutherford opening out the bowling, and Khan Sinclair are going to be our lethal, hopefully, pairing with the uh, ball here. So we are going to hopefully do a reasonable job here. So we'll um, open up and bat first see how things pan out so the New Zealand opening pair of Glenn Phillips and Kane Williamson looking to get us off to a good start and it's not going to be the case as Grays will get the wicket of Glenn Phillips almost straight away out for one and um, Brevis <coughs> will join Kane Williamson and it's a misfield just relieving a bit of pressure six for one after one over uh, so far Kane Williamson offering an experienced hand at the top of the order. And uh, same with Glenn Phillips. <clears throat> Going to have to rely a lot on them this season. Lewis is injured. Um, one of our openers, so we've had to revise our openers. Kane Williamson gets it away nicely for four. And he's gone. Graves strikes, gets both the New Zealanders out. And Kane Williamson goes for six. It brings Casey Carty to the crease. Casey Carty has played a little bit for uh, the West Indies as well, so remarkably, didn't get much time at the um, club last season. Did some promising youngsters in the team. <clears throat> Good an opportunity today, 23 for 2. Let's hit that well enough, I think, to get that to the fence. 27 for 2 now. <clears throat> and that is Carty gone as well, very... Very disappointing out for five. It brings young Sebastian Cooper in. And he will try to sneak a single off. And he will get off the mark. Brevis. He's gone as well. 29 for four. We are in all sorts of bother here. We've just got to rebuild. Joshua De Silva in now. And Joshua De Silva has been caught. This has been a brilliant session from Barbados. We are on all sorts of other, the two Rockies effectively on debut. And Cooper's gone as well. 29 for six, disaster. He's gone for one, brings Dwayne Bravo in, the 40 year old. And Giddens gone too, Dis oh, this is horror. Horror to see the scoreboard, 31 for seven. At 31 for eight, we've just been very much blown out of the water. This is horrible. 31 for 8. Just been absolutely smoked out of this game. Rashid Khan hits a few boundaries. He's moved to second top score. These two are going to have to build a partnership and get 100 on the board. Bit of respectability back. Minley's is coming and has wrecked our um, score. And Rashid Khan has just gone into big 6. Brings the 50 up. I think Bravo is going to be out. He's out for seven. And Sinclair is in with uh, Rashid Khan. 57 for nine. And Rashid Khan is sort of top scorer at the moment. Trying to lift his side to something. Just going to bat the overs. It's a bit of an edge going to be caught and the innings is wrapped up for 61 a horrible start to the campaign she can't top scoring with 23 that order just fell over just so quickly brilliant bowling though you can't take it away from um marquino uh, minley uh that was a good beast spell from him um mccoy three for 25 grays was good removing phillips and williamson at the top they all did a job there and yeah it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that we're not going to be winning this game Good delivery from Rutherford gets the wicket of Kyle Mayers. He's gone 
for naught. 18 for one. Make that 18 for two. De Kock is out as well. Rashi Khan will come in quite early. Hasn't bowled too, ba uh, too badly here, Rutherford. He's picked up another wicket. 37 for three. 15. Rashi Khan will get another over here. 39 for four. A lot of wickets tumbling in this game. A ton of wickets dropping, but we just got a paltry score. Make sure the field's nice and spread. Rutherford will get another wicket, and they'll be 45 for five. Barbados making a meal of the chase. <laughs> what an amusing game of cricket this is. You yeah, have 15 wickets falling, and we've just only scored over 100 runs in the game. Just trying to force some wickets here. Shikhan's gone for 10 off his over. Six runs required. And Holder will get the winning single, and it is 62 for five. A five wicket win for Barbados. A terrible, terrible batting effort. Rutherford, uh, four for 20, put a bit of respectability in the scoreline. And Khan, top scoring with 23. is not something we want to see. I can't believe Rashid Khan is not playing for Afghanistan at this time. <laughs> what on earth is going on? He should be picked up for them, definitely. One of their best players. So we're taking on Trinidad and Tobago now. Um, I didn't go over the um, first three games of the season that we will be uh, playing. So you'll be playing Trinidad and Guana. Uh, and hopefully we can fare a bit better with the ball. I'm um, in this one. So uh, with the bat in this one. So pretty much the same team. They've got a chance to redeem themselves. Uh, so hopefully see some good performances here. Got some good players too. Chanderpool. They've got Hafiz, Puran, Russell. Seals is a good um, bowler um, as well. So uh, not a bad um, performance in the first game for uh, Rutherford. Taking that uh, 4 for 20. Bravo. 40 years of old, Dwayne Bravo. Still required to probably do a decent job. Giddens getting his first um, lot of overs here. Didn't have too much to um, go with last game. And we're 49 without loss after six. So Chanderpool 28, Gilzine 21 off 15. And we're going to go spin from both ends and see if that pairing can get us some wickets. 61 without loss. So Chanderpool will depart. He'll depart for 39. Oh, Sinclair. Two should be a good pairing here. And we've got both openers out pretty quickly, so we've just halted Trinidad and Tobago a little bit. Spin hasn't been too effective. One for 29 and one for 30. Uh, we're going to bring Sebastian Cooper in. Cooper has bowled a little bit in first class. He is going to going to try something a wee bit different than the save, try and develop like that part-time sort of option. So he's going to get an over gone for 11 so Giddens we back into the attack looking to get his uh, first ever wicket in this particular format he's got the wicket of Campbell he's got a wee bit of movement off the surface and a key wicket as Campbell goes for 43 of 31 Hamaz Hafiz a youngster from Pakistan a very promising youngster as well Rutherford will probably bowl the last over so you'd, you'd probably look to your Rashid Khan uh, to maybe pick up another wicket he hasn't taken a wicket unfortunately Kyle Sinclair he'll get through hopefully this over not bad over if one for 36 Khan's over last over didn't go too badly either we'll go Giddens here one for 24 in his um, first bowling performance he's gonna be involved in a run out here and he gets Puran for six. 
She's got her fees out as well. Giddens, a very nice bowling performance. Two for 30. And is he going to pick up another one? He does. Traps Hines, LBW. And 161 for six. And you have to bowl Rutherford. He is the in-form um, player. And 182 for six is what they end on. Andre Russell finishes the innings off very strongly. A good player, Andre Russell. Very experienced. Um, 20 over our specialist. English, Afghanistan. I'm shocked that um, Rishi Khan is not in that team. So we've got the two um, New Zealanders, Phillips and Williamson, coming up. Oh, Phillips has got that um, somehow away for four. Let's open up his account. Four plays and misses. Kiwis are struggling a wee bit here in the uh, Caribbean. Even without loss. Kane Williamson finally gets one out of the middle. This needs time, Kane Williamson. I think he'll get better during the tournament. Ah, that is Phillips out. Out for a very low score again. Out for 11. 17 for 1 in the 4th. We need to sort of up the gears. 21 for 1. And... Brevis is gone as well. So that's our top three just not firing at the moment. Carty in. Casey Carty. 22 for two after five. This is it's very slow batting. Kane Williamson with another maximum. A, he'll have to be the deliverer of the runs, I'd say. 29 for two after six. 11 and over required. Get set away for four. Need some big productive overs here in this run chase. Just want a better batting performance. It's a good shot again. He's just timed that nicely. So it's nine off the over so far. Get that run rate back under control. He's been dropped. That's a simple chance dropped. Carty gets a chance. Nine off 13. 14 off 13 for Kane Williamson. Kane Williamson struggle at the crease. Results in him being out for 15 off 17 deliveries. And it brings Sebastian Cooper in. And the 42 for 3. Oh, that is beautiful bowling. And that is another wicket tumbling. Our batting is just abysmal um, at the moment. Fucking Cooper offer here. Can he get some sort of a score? Get some confidence in franchise cricket at the very least. A good shot. Brings up the 50. 12.8 and over required. I think that's far too steep for um, the batting to come in. Might move to silver up the order a wee bit. Sebastian Cooper will probably get his development opportunity where he is at the moment. It's a good drive on the up. That's a mammoth six. 66 for 4. Has he got enough on that? He may be caught on the rope. He will be caught on the rope. And with 66 for 5, he's out for 12. It brings Andre Gittins to the crease. Cooper gets it away for 4. 72 for 5. As Cooper gets on top of that, and that's another boundary. 24 of 13, looking not bad in this innings. Four round of Giddens, opportunity for him to maybe get a wee score. 14.1 and over required, but probably not too right about that. It's just seeing how these youngsters go. Dragged into that shot. Playing a miss. Just a few overs to remaining. Hold of that, Giddens. That's gone all the way for six. Cooper hits that pretty well. That's gone all the way as well. A couple of nice hits. 41 of 28. All time um, user record partnership. Oh, 
Oh, he's hit that beautifully good, and that uh, sounded good as soon as he hit it. Another maximum. Oh, he's played that beautifully. So cracking over a 20 off it. All time record partnership for the uh, Leeward Islands franchise team. 51 off 12. It's Let's see how far we can get the um, salt down to. He's got two there, Cooper. And he'll smack that away for four. And that's a half century for Sebastian Cooper. 51 of 34, 7 fours, 1 6. Giddens. Uh, can Giddens finish strongly in this innings? And he's hit that beautifully. Just ramps it for six. It's a shame we lost all those wickets early on. Because he's still showing that you could definitely bat on the surface. So we were 155 for five. Um, All-time record partnership against Trinidad and Tobago. 46 for Giddens, 3 fours, 4 sixes, showing his all-round potential talent. He has only got 3 for 30 on the day. Cooper, 56. And, uh, yeah, just an unfortunate loss there. So we lost two games on the bounce. Uh, we would love to win this game on episode if we can. For the changes that we're going to make, we're going to bring in uh, Dominic Drakes uh, in for our Bravo. Move Brotherford up the order. Who else have we got in the team? Did Lewis play last season? He didn't do too badly. Pittman. Do we give Calvin Pittman a bit of a run? Well, I probably don't want to change the cart too much, if you know what I mean. Like, Bravo's got a lot of experience, but his bowling, number 13, number 26. Let's rotate some of the youngsters. And we need that top four firing. Um, we'll keep Cooper at five. Carty needs to get some runs. Uh, Joseph is in a developmental contract. That's what I've sort of labelled it as. Uh, he is from uh, the Leeward Islands as well. Uh, Afridi um, opening up. My lead Afridi. Young 18-year-old plucked um, out to be given a go. We are batting first in this game. And we just need uh, Phillips and Williamson to get the team off to a good start. Really, really emphasising that we just really would love get a good start for once Both these men were assigned um because they're classy cricketers we need them to deliver Williamson. he showed signs that he was getting into some form he's, he's gonna have to um battle his way through that he's got five off that over 25 without loss after three Phillips. Has he got enough on that? He has. Found the gap. That's gone all the way for six. It's a bit of a miscue, but he's managed to hit that um, hard enough. Okay, Williamson will pick up a valuable boundary. And it just drifts on the pads. That's four. This breaks the gap. This is their best um, opening partnership of the tournament. Just need to turn the corner of these two. Lovely shot for K Williams. And just more of a timer into gaps. Uh, he has a really good 20 over strike rate anyway. Let's hit that into the gap. And that is 50 from partnership for these two. Chemo Paul win now. Just going at 10 over. Nothing too special about the start. Just be finding gaps, getting regular boundaries. Being too explosive. So that's a couple of big sixes from Phillips. He's stating his intentions now with the um, parts that starting to blossom. Full toss. And Williamson has missed out on that. And he's been caught, actually. He's gone. He's gone for um, 40 of 25 deliveries. Brings Brevis in. Hopefully he can get going. Just immediately gets a six off his first delivery phase. Glenn Phillips bat right through. 40 off 23. Lovely shot. That's 
it's gonna wait for sex. These two just building another just decent partnership, getting things moving along. Takes that away four more. And that's fifty for Glenn Phillips. Another boundary, four more. One seventeen for one. Keep things. Can we convert this to a big score? Some good hitting to come in. Swipes that away for four more. Swats it. Fifty nine of thirty three for Phillips. Twenty nine twenty for Brevis. Get found four more. And yeah, this is really, really looking good. Three back to back boundaries for Brevis. This is what we wanted our international top three to do um, in the first couple games. This didn't fire. That's four boundaries in a row for Brevis, and this is looking very ugly for Guana now. 17 off the um, over, one delivery remaining in this one for Al Hassan. And that's five boundaries in a single. Over, so another good partnership. And Freddy is good over, has resulted in a wicket. Brevis is trapped for 47 of 29. It brings Casey Carty to the crease. Looking to see him get some runs. Glenn Phillips has been um, bamboozled by a good delivery, but a good innings from Glenn Phillips. He set up the innings quite well. Brings Sebastian Cooper in now. Two new men at the crease. Need to finish the innings off strongly. And Cooper's been bowled by McAllister. He's gone for one. Oh, that's, so the innings is just falling a wee bit apart for the Leeward Islands. To get in. Played a magnificent knock in the last game. Can he get the team going again? Late power hitting from him. A wee bit of good bowling performance as well. Carty. Gone. He's very much misfiring at the moment. Out for naught. Might bring another bowler in for him actually. Just to stay in this innings. Is this really falling apart? Al Hassan on a bit of a roll. Brings Dominic Drakes in. Hat trick delivery. Just about got the hat trick too, Shakib. Oh, Gittins, he could be departing as well. Hassan, who got hit for that 21 run over, has just ripped the Leeward Islands apart. 166 for 8 now. We may not even bat out the 20. So to get through this over, 167 for 8. Trying to take on the fielder, and he will be running out. Four wickets in the over. What on earth is going on in this save at the moment? 168 for nine. Could have compared to the score at the very least, but uh, we shouldn't have lost all these wickets in a row. We might even not bat out the uh, 20. He's got enough on that. He will indeed. It's gone over the fence. He's gone for seven, so we didn't bat an over out. How costly will that be? But yeah, apart from the top three, the next top score was six. So that is not good at all. We need to be a lot better. And so we'll look to be aggressive up front, I think, and try to pick up some early wickets. Drake's uh, getting his first opportunity. Rutherford. Into a good area. Melius is uh, gone. He's gone for 10. 44 for 1 after 6. So Gittins, he'll come in. He'll just bowl 
Hopefully a similar sort of spell to last game where he got uh, three for 30. Five for nine, Rashid Khan. Good for Rashid Khan, the opportunity to a little bit more aggressively than normal because we do need some workouts. 53 for one after seven. One, it's to shy hope. Trap LBW. Brilliant delivery. Perkins. Be replaced with Sinclair, and Sinclair will be tasked to be pretty aggressive as well. Well, sort of in between aggressive and defensive. Hoping the spin can weave its magic to get our first win of the season. And Hitmeyer traps LBW. Good delivery. I'm on for 28. 112 for 3. Pass score 107. Alright. Uh, we will go for Gittins. Just need another wicket here, I reckon. Oh, looking good. 45 runs at 9 and over. Bring the ace in the pack, Rashid Khan. Um, and just need that wicket. Big time. Get it from him. 35 of 24. It's still an interesting chase because they lose a couple wickets. They got Pollard and Paul to come in though. Seven off it. 28 off 18. Gittin's getting to get this over now. Gonna get his over out of the way. Hopefully he can deliver a decent over. 11 off it. Okay, very, very much a day to forget for Gittins. Rutherford, can we get a tidy over here? Blackwood has been edged out but he's got Guana in position for victory here 58 of 31 deliveries a good innings and they need nine off six in the t21 we want two to win and they've done it off the last delivery, so we have a horror start to the campaign here. That last over we didn't bowl, uh, bat out, ultimately it's cost us the game. Getting there of the last delivery, a good wee um, game that was. So yeah, three games played, three losses. We're going to have to bounce back in the middle part of the season. You can join us for the last three games of the season um, for uh, Fleetwood Islands. So we'll play these three games offline. Oh, there's four. Uh, yeah, so we'll play four games offline and then play Jamaica, Guan, and Winwood Island. So looking forward to that. Smash the like button, share with a friend, and we will see you next time.